It's been nine years since the United States launched a spacecraft carrying astronauts, and there was a lot of excitement for today's planned launch of the SpaceX at Cape Canaveral. It would have been an historic moment, but the weather had other ideas. Disappointment today after bad weather forced SpaceX to scrub the launch of their first ever human crew into space. We are not going to launch today. You are go for 5.100 launch scrub. Hours earlier, astronauts Bob Banken and Doug Hurley prepared for takeoff and were strapped in and ready to go. The eyes of the nation were glued to Florida's Kennedy Space Center. President Trump and the First Lady were there. Can you see? Kelly Clarkson virtually performed the national anthem. The excitement harkens back to the grand days of the 1960s, when America watched in awe as the race to the moon played out with spectacular launches. Back then, legendary CBS anchor Walter Cronkite led the live coverage. What? <laughs> During today's attempted launch, the astronauts wore sleek new spacesuits, replacing the bulky gear we're so familiar with. The new pressurized suits were designed by, of all people, Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, who created the superhero costumes for Wonder Woman and Batman. Dr. Andy Aldrin, son of legendary astronaut Buzz Aldrin, sheds light on the technical improvements of the new spacesuits. They've made um, a huge effort to make it more comfortable, more streamlined. It's just something that I think is much more suited to maybe normal people and commercial activities. The two veteran NASA astronauts have been best friends for 20 years. They are both married to astronauts. There they are giving their families virtual hugs. They've been in strict quarantine, taking extra precautions during the pandemic. SpaceX has experienced a string of 62 successful missions after suffering a setback in September 2016 when an explosion rocked their launch pad. Now we have to wait for the backup date of May 30th to witness the launch that will inspire and uplift a nation.